All right, I just got in the new Petzl rig from uh, Petzl. <laughs> uh, great piece of kit. So a lot of new features on this thing. One thing that uh, you guys are gonna like is the auto lock feature, okay? When you take your hands off the device, it automatically locks. So it keeps you uh, right in position. There's no chance of you bumping the handle and descending uncontrolled, okay? Uh, with the rig, as you know, if you're familiar with the rig, um, it doesn't have the panic feature built in like the ID version does. So that prevents uh, unwanted stops and stuff when you're trying to negotiate an edge and get down quick and get to where you need to go, all right? It also lets you go down at a little quicker pace too than the ID, all right? So, um, some great features. They have this groove cut out here. Now for your ropes, you can have your rope come over the top of the, the device and adds a little bit more friction so you have a little bit more control of your descent as well as the reinforced berm here uh, that also helps keep your ropes from wear and tear and stuff like that. Um, great little device I recommend when you're putting in your carabiner okay always attach it to the front first and then rotate it. This way when you're descending the spine of your device is going down your edge or rubbing against any objects and that way you're not going to have the gate catch on anything. Okay, um, another thing that Petzl has is these little captive bars. These things are great because they attach right onto the carabiner and they prevent the carabiner from rolling around in here when it's unloaded and therefore you won't have a problem of it side loading unintentionally when you're not paying attention you got your mind focused on other things okay I'm going to install this put it onto the carabiner in the device and then uh, I'm going to take it down onto the ropes and I'll show you guys a little bit of how the device works and some of the great features in it okay stay tuned okay so I've got the captive bar installed Great thing about this, all right, it stops your carabiner from rotating when it uh, comes off a load and side loading on your gate, okay? Other cool thing is it keeps your spine on the outside where it's close to the edge of the building, uh, preventing you from catching the gate or accidentally loading the gate onto an object like a an edge or uh, whatever, an obtrusion sticking out from the building, a balcony or such. All right, so that's what it looks like, okay? And you see the auto lock feature, great feature. One other thing, uh, they changed the cam design for 2019. It's now a square style cam with a little groove cut out on the top there. And what that does, is allows you to have your thumb on there while you're on a low angle uh, situation and it allows you to spool the rope through it nice and quick so that you don't um, have to feed it through like you do on the old IID and the rig and stuff. All right, so we'll, we'll show you all this stuff on the ropes so you see how it all works and uh, yeah, pay attention. All right guys, so let's show you how this thing goes on the rope. First thing you want to do, the handle because it's auto locking, you want to just cock that handle just a little bit, push and swing the gate open. Cocking that handle just allows the cam to move. If you don't, it's stuck in a lock position, okay? Won't allow you to put the rope in there. So one hand, cock that handle open, and then you're allowed to move that cam. Always thumb towards your anchor, Make a big S, okay, for a super cop. <laughs> and then you're gonna close that gate and take up your slack, okay? So there's your rig installed, ready to go, okay? When you're ready to move, hand up on the handle, right hand always down along your side. You wanna keep it far back enough that it doesn't get sucked into the device, okay? So again, use the little groove there. It helps to uh, control your descent a little bit. Or 
you can go right over the berm if you're pretty comfortable with it, okay? Handle up and nice and easy on that handle and you're gonna start to descend, okay? So usually on the panic feature with the ID, when you crack it all the way open, it'll stop. With the, with the rig, it's a little different. It won't do that. It'll just continue to go, okay? So it's great for police work and stuff because you don't have to, uh, you're trying to hurry up and get over an edge and uh, you don't want to be messing around with the device stopping, starting, stopping, starting. With this handle, you pull that handle and you go, okay? So it's a great feature. As soon as you take your hand off the device, it locks, so now your hand's free, you can engage, transition from handgun to long gun, whatever you need to do, okay? <clears throat> One other thing that you wanna do is if you have a side loop on your harness, you can always put an extra carabiner in there, a little bit of friction, and it'll, if you got a lot of weight, a lot of tack vests and all your weapons and stuff, it can be a lot of weight. So this just gives you a little bit more control when you're trying to descend, okay? When you get down to the bottom, you just landed, okay? It's quick, easy, you're out of there, okay? All you do, again, there's your button, push the button, open the gate, okay? Want to reload again? Ready to go. The other feature with this, when you're on a low slope, sl like a, you're not on a, a, like a hard drop from the ceiling, Okay, there's that square button in there. When you don't have a lot of weight on the system for the cams to engage properly, you can cock that handle slightly, thumb right on the grooves, and it allows you to move, get into position, get to your edge, whatever you need to do. Okay, great little feature with the new square cam. The old rigs won't allow you to do that. You gotta play with the handle and feed the rope in there, a little bit of messing around. So this is quick, fast, and effortless, okay? So that's how you hook it up and use it. I'm gonna set up the camera and I'm gonna go up on the edge and we're gonna show you how to actually use it on the wall, okay? Cool, thanks guys. Okay guys, so again, let's uh, get this installed. Cock that handle, make your big super S. Lock that gate, take up the slack, okay? Automatically locks for you. Now I can remove my safety line and I am at my edge, okay? If I needed to move closer to my edge, again, you just cock that handle, push in the cam and adjust, okay? So when you're transitioning the edge, nice and easy. Okay, control your descent. All right. There you go. Take your hands off. Okay, automatically locks. Then you can adjust your rope pro and you're good to go. All right, nice and easy. You need to stop, do whatever. Okay, you can go to your gun side to side whatever you need to do this thing automatically locks on you not like the old figure eights and stuff where you can't take your hands off the rope this thing's great it just automatically stops and when you go you go there's no automatically stopping with the panic feature on this thing it's just go so it's great for tack teams stuff like that so if you're looking for new devices for your team for repelling uh, definitely consider the rig a uh, great piece of kit, okay? So, let's get going here. There you go. There's the rig, guys. Check it out. Try to get one of your reps uh, to show you the device, maybe play around with it. Uh, great piece of kit, okay? 
All right, so I'm just gonna show you up close here how this thing uh, gets loaded. There's your button, and you're just gonna open your gate, just like that. There's your little cam, okay? You see, you won't be able to get the rope in there unless you cock this little handle, and it releases that cam. Make your big Super S. And <laughs> there you go, a little easier there. Okay, that's how you load it. Unloading, same way, just release, okay? This thing can be a little tricky when you're loading it for the first time. Uh, it's got a little bit of a shepherd's hook type fitting there. And it's just, with the captive bar in there, it only gives you so much room. So you just gotta find that little sweet spot and then close it, okay? Once you do it a few times, okay, it gets a lot easier. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, and learned something. So again, that's the Petzl rig. Um, if you ever need to know anything about the device, you can always go to Petzl's website and they have all the information there as far as the certifications and specifications. Uh, everything's on the back of the device, but uh, they also have some great tutorials on how to use the device and uh, some of its capabilities. So. Uh, check that out, petzl.com, and we'll see you on the next one. If you guys have any other suggestions or uh, gear that you want to get demoed, uh, by all means, shoot me a message in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and uh, let's go, Adam. Let's be safe for 2019, guys. Let's have fun.